My name's Ashley. Let's talk about the brat life. It's the first day at your new school and some thoughts are bound to go through your head. La 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 la. Oh my goodness. There are a lot of people. Where do I sit? Front? No, I might look like a teacher's pet. Back? But then I might look like a rebel who got kicked out of her old school for killing someone with a hole puncher. Oh my goodness. Middle. Yes, good, safe middle. Lunch as a new kid is probably the scariest experience you will ever have. Where do I sit? Do they have table clicks like in the movies? What if this turns into Mean Girls? And I gain friends, only to lose them, and then gain them back when I'm a good person. You've been standing here too long. You look weird. Sit down! A few stressful things that might run through your mind, but I'm here to help you with some advice. Don't be bashful about your story. You might not be thinking this right now, but a lot of teens will think it's really cool that you move a lot. Not dorky. Play the new kid card. I know it sounds manipulative, but hear me out. People at your new school have no clue who you were before you got there. They don't know if you were prom queen or king of the chess club. They just don't know. The new school is a whole new start for you. If you didn't like where you were before at your old high school, you can change it. Say you didn't like your group of friends, you get new ones. You didn't like your teachers, you get new ones. You don't like your reputation, you get a new one. Now, I'm not saying act like a totally different person at your new school, but if there are things you want to improve upon, do it. Do not have a comfort zone. Try everything you can. Join all the clubs. Go to new places. Choose classes that challenge you. And most importantly, try something new. If someone wants to be your friend, try it. One of the biggest fears of a new kid is being judged by the others. But you have to realize you're just as likely to judge as they are. If you're judging your new school, you may be stopping yourself from taking new opportunities, making friends with people who you don't think are worth getting to know. Please don't do this! A friend is a friend. And if you judge a book by its cover, you'll never be a part of the awesome story that's inside. This is the biggest advice I can give you. Have confidence. I know it sounds super simple, but it applies everywhere. You can have confidence getting your pencil out of your bag. You can have confidence biting down on that sandwich your mama made you. You can have confidence just walking into your new classroom or lunchroom like the thoughts you had prior. But a key thing in having confidence is saying what you believe in. I know this is scary for a lot of people, even if you aren't a new kid at school, but it's the biggest piece of advice I can give you. Say what you believe in. I don't mean in a, I believe this, therefore you're wrong. I mean a, I believe in this and I love it and I want you to see my passion about it. Don't confront people about it. Just express yourself. By doing this, you'll get honest friends, quality friends that believe in the same thing you do and respect from teachers. A great example of this would be my freshman year. I had just moved to the town and I was with a whole bunch of people I didn't know and it came to English class. In this English class, our teacher was very passionate about the assignment he gave us. It was an essay slash poem that we had to create and then present in front of the class. This was extremely scary to me because I knew no one in the classroom. But I saw it as an opportunity and I took it. I talked about Jesus Christ and how I thought everyone in society followed their sinful nature. As soon as I finished reading that paper, I was so scared to sit down back in my seat because I knew I had said some pretty controversial things, but I said it with passion and from my heart. You would not believe the response it got. From that day on, I had students coming up to me asking me questions about my lifestyle and about why I believed in Jesus Christ the way I did. This was amazing. I was a new student at this new school. No one knew me and I was already witnessing. It was awesome. My teacher who had handed out the assignment pulled me after class. It was amazing to hear that kind of feedback, and that teacher became one of my closest mentors for the rest of my high school experience. So don't hold back. You may be a new student, but there are people at that school that believe the same things you do, so don't be afraid to express yourself. You could just say, I really like puppies. I think they're pretty cool. Do you like puppies? Because you're still being honest about yourself. It doesn't have to be this crazy life-changing thing. But I'm just giving you an example about how it can be life-changing and how it can be an awesome thing for your new school. Look, all of my stuff came. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I'm still unpacking. Look at all that. My name is Ashley. Stay bratty.